Welcome to this foreign house, head of uh, FinTech of Invest Hong Kong. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. And let's quickly jump into the first question. Is that why did Invest Hong Kong establish the FinTech section department um, last year? And why do you think it is a very good timing for you to, to provide such kind of a service for the uh, mainland China, Hong Kong and the companies overseas? So Invest Hong Kong is part of the Hong Kong government and we are the promoting arm of the Hong Kong government. Our mission is to promote Hong Kong as a fintech hub and facilitate uh, mainland companies and overseas companies to set up and expand their business in Hong Kong. This uh, fintech team at Invest Hong Kong is part of a larger uh, initiative from the Hong Kong government. So today you've got four different bodies at the Hong Kong government which have dedicated fintech teams and fintech contact points. Uh, so the HKMA, the SFC, the Insurance Authority, as well as Invest Hong Kong have, since 2016, their dedicated fintech teams to support the fintech industry uh, uh, overall. Uh, we think it's a good timing because we, we, we see the, the financial industry uh, under a big renovation right now. The technology is coming in the, in the business. Uh, there is a lot of efficiency happening right now in all these different sub-sectors of, of the financial industry. And, uh, and we, are, we really much want to embrace this uh, in Hong Kong as a global uh, financial services hub. Yes, and as we all know, Hong Kong is actually an international financial center and also it serves as a super connector for financial institutions from East and West. So at this time, how can Hong Kong play a um, role also as a super connector for fintech company um, this time? Yes. Hong Kong has been a, a financial... Uh Hong Kong has been a super connector for many years in many different industries and there is no difference with fintech. Um, Hong Kong is very well connected. We are one of the leading financial services hub in, uh, in, in, uh, in Europe and there is five different subsectors we believe which can be great B2B fintech opportunities for mainland companies as well as for Hong Kong companies uh, to tackle on. The first one will be cyber security. It's a very much uh, an important part of the financial services industry overall. The second part is blockchain. Uh, there is a lot of initiatives from the private sector as well as the Hong Kong government in blockchain today. Uh, we have also a strong focus on regtech, what we call the regulation technologies. Regulations are not a bottleneck. Regulations can be uh, an advantage when you know how to use them properly with technology, uh, as well as insurance technologies and wealth technologies for the wealth management industries with the distribution platforms or the robo-advisors. So there is plenty of opportunities for Hong Kong to super connect the, the global industry with the mainland Chinese uh, champions and uh, in a B2B environment. This is very important to, to, to keep that in mind. Yeah, as you mentioned blockchain technology, let me ask you a kind of a sector specific question. That is, we've noticed a super famous Wall Street bank like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan start to define themselves as tech company rather than pure financial institution. So, and they also take the lead to embrace this kind of uh, tech trend. Um, for example, they invest very heavily in blockchain technology to facilitate their payment and settlement process. So how do you see this kind of sea change in their attitude? And yeah, during your conversation with this company, what kind of su uh, suggestion will you provide to them? It feels like a little bit what we've seen in, uh, in commerce industry. Uh, a few years ago, the commerce industry and the retail industry has been totally disrupted by the e-commerce with giant, giants of e-commerce just totally changing the business models and the, and the consumer experience. And I believe we are seeing a very similar uh, patent uh, in, uh, in the financial industry right now with a lot of technology coming into these this financial services uh, subsectors and really uh, helping them to get more efficiencies, to be more competitive and grow their business. So we really see that uh, as well in Hong Kong, we've got 75 of the top 100 banks are in Hong Kong. Uh, the major fintech companies from mainland China are already in Hong Kong for many years. So the technology is part of the Hong Kong ecosystem already and we keep improving ourselves and grabbing all this uh, value we can get from the, from the technology. Yes, um, let me share with you a very interesting research and it actually looks into uh, 64 companies. The composition of their executive leadership team of 64 companies listed on the Hansen Index. It shows that um, there are a 
the number of uh, technologists serving on the executive leadership team actually increased from 6% in 2011 to 20% now. So how do you see this kind of a leapfrog and what kind of support the government can provide to this company? I think it really shows how the, the Hong Kong economy is uh, into the game. The different industries of Hong Kong, not only the financial services, but all the industries which are represented within this uh, Hong Seng Index are showing that there is more and more technology in all kinds of businesses. And uh, the, the financial industry is definitely uh, right now, in, uh, I would say, incorporating a lot of technologies in their business. And uh, this is something we see also in Hong Kong with these top 75 uh, global banks which are operating in Hong Kong. Uh, some of them are part of the uh, HKMA Sandbox, uh, which was launched uh, last year in 2016. There is a lot of R&D in financial services which are being done in Hong Kong today by major players from Hong Kong, the mainland, as well as global, uh, global, uh, global players. So we, we believe this, uh, this study you refer to is really much showing that uh, technology is coming all around us and uh, the champions of tomorrow are, are making the best of this technology today. Yes, and also there's a kind of saying, or can we say rumor on the market, is that compared to your uh, Singapore counterpart, some Hong Kong fintech company find it much harder to establish themselves in Hong Kong. This must maybe because there are some policy lagging behind uh, on this front. So how do you see this kind of uh, saying and what kind of support do you think the government can can provide or the regulator can provide? I think it's a sentiment in the air, but it does not reflect uh, the reality of Hong Kong. Uh, as I said, and as you, you know, the Hong Kong uh, financial industry is a, is a leader in the, in the, in the, global, uh, in the global market of, uh, of financial, uh, financial services. Uh, we have a lot of different initiatives from the regulators, from different government bodies, which are really servicing the industry to keep, uh, to keep the industry upgrading itself. So as I was mentioning, uh, we have the uh, HKMA Sandbox, which is actually live since uh, last, uh, last November 2016. Uh, the SFC, the regulator for the, the stock markets, uh, has been uh, upgrading a lot of different circulars and is doing a lot of consultant uh, consultation work right now with the industry, with the private sector to understand how to adjust things. Uh, we recognize now uh, the EIDs from South Chinese in Hong Kong. Uh, our industry is rich of, uh, uh, if you look at uh, securities brokerage, we've got more than 600 different uh, securities bro uh, uh, brokerage firms in Hong Kong. So it's a very vivid uh, uh, environment. Uh, you cannot expect the same type of um, regulators and government support uh, in a city which is very much a B2B hub, uh, the same way you would expect different, uh, different initiatives from, the, from the, a larger market with a more consumer, uh, consumer profile. So I think it does not reflect the reality and I invite everyone uh, to, uh, to come in Hong Kong uh, during the Hong Kong FinTech Week, uh, which will be from 23rd to 27th at the Hong Kong Convention Center right inside Hong Kong. For five days, we're going to speak about fintech only. We're going to show what is the Hong Kong uh, capabilities. We are inviting a lot of delegations from the mainland, from Europe, from USA, to uh, join this uh, very packed full week of events only about fintech. Uh, there will be some uh, different uh, talking events. There will be some training workshops. We are organizing office hours with different uh, large fintech uh, players, as well as a mini fair uh, for the, the startups in fintech to basically promote their services and, and, and solutions to the Hong Kong market. So come in Hong Kong as a fintech week and get a feel by yourself how Hong Kong is a great fintech hub. Yeah, we are much looking forward to your fintech gala. Yeah, the upcoming yes, fintech week. <laughs> yeah, and last but not least, I want to ask uh, one question is that if you uh, notice um, during the Davos Forum, the World Economic Forum, um, they all are, are talking about the kind of uh, disruptive forces brought by the tech innovation. And they are also concerned that whether this kind of robots will rob us of our job. So do you kind of share this kind of concern? And what do you think the government and company can do to um, equip their people better? It's certainly, certainly a very interesting trend and something we, we should all keep an eye on. Uh, the technology is coming all over us and challenging many of, uh, of our life today and, uh, and our businesses. I think if we want to look at the future, some, sometimes you have to look at the past. 
And it's not the first time we've got some industrial revolutions happening. And what is fintech is a renovation of the financial services industry. And this renovation of an industry has been happening in the past in many different industries before. So I believe the best way uh, to, to tackle this, uh, this, new, this new wave of innovation coming up is to really engage with the, with the technology early on in your businesses, in different organizations, as well as keep training your people, training them and retraining them. I think we, we should be uh, lifelong learners nowadays and we should not only rely on our diploma we got in our 20s, but we have to keep upgrading ourselves and keep training ourselves. And this way, uh, we, we're going to be able to take, make the best of the technology and uh, adjust the business and uh, remain competitive. Human people have been showing to the world that they are very good at adapting themselves. So technology in, uh, in finance, or robots are coming into our life, but I'm very uh, confident and optimistic that we will all find ways to adjust. There will be new jobs, there will be new opportunities, so we have to look at the bright side.